Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I am excited to be doing a viewer send in recipe for stuffed pepper soup. This sounds really good and I'm really excited to try it. This was sent in to me by Pam, so thank you Pam for sending me this recipe. I love it when you guys send me recipes to try because I kind of get in a rut sometimes on what I'm eating. I like to make the same things over and over again. So it's fun to try out new recipes. So if you ever want to send me a recipe to try, I'd appreciate it. I will have my Instagram and my email down in the comments section below. So please feel free to send me recipes. Also, if you have a request for a recipe, something you would like to see me make, I love getting those too. So let's jump into this one and see what you're going to need to make it. Now I should say I'm going to be following Pam's recipe as closely as I can. There will be some changes just based on the stuff I have on hand compared to what she used, but it's going to be as close as I can get it to hers. I will also put a link for the recipe that she used to come up with this down below. But again, I'm going to follow her recipe that she sent me specifically as close as possible. First, what you're going to need is a pound of lean ground turkey. I'm using 93% lean, 7% fat, and this is just because this is what I buy in bulk. I get a lot of comments about um, the 99% fat-free turkey being zero points, and it is for a lot of people, if that was one of your zero point foods. It is for me too, but since I go through so much ground turkey, like I said, I like to buy it in bulk. I get mine at Sam's, and they only carry 93% percent lean so that's what I'm always using and that's why now Pam's recipe calls for ground beef and you could absolutely use a lean ground beef or really a lean ground any type of meat you want but again I'm using 93 percent lean ground turkey next up what I'm using here is going to end up being 22 ounces of riced cauliflower the recipe she sent me it says two to three cups cooked rice and she says she uses rice cauliflower. I originally thought one bag of this would be enough, but then I saw in the picture that she sent along with the recipe that she's using two 12 ounce bags of rice cauliflower. So I've got two bags equaling 22 ounces. Over here, I have got a chopped red onion and then a chopped yellow and red bell pepper. The recipe's calling for a large green pepper, green bell pepper. I don't have green, I've just got the yellow and red, and mine were more on the small side, so I went ahead and just did one of each. Next up, the recipe calls for 48 ounces of beef broth. I am using cans, so I'm gonna end up with 42 ounces of beef broth. And then you can either use tomato soup, 10 ounces, or 10 ounces of tomato sauce. Now, if you use tomato sauce, it's gonna cut the points on this, an additional point, but I wanted to use the tomato soup because I thought that would add probably a lot more flavor, and I figure it's worth that extra point per serving. But again, you can use tomato sauce and have it a point less per serving. Next up, I am using a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and then I don't have garlic powder, so I'm using about a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and then I'm using some fresh ground black pepper. That's just gonna be to taste. I'm probably gonna use about a half teaspoon. You could also salt this if you want. I'm not going to, because we're always trying to cut down on salt. Now, if I need to add salt after the fact, I will do that. And then lastly, I'm gonna be using a couple packs of this Trevia calorie-free sweetener. And that is everything that's gonna be in this, so let's get started. I've got a large pot here, I'm gonna take my ground turkey, I'm gonna add that to it, as well as my bell peppers and onions. And I'm gonna cook all of this together on a medium, medium high heat until that ground turkey is browned and those veggies are softened. And then while this is cooking in here, I'm gonna get my rice cauliflower cooking in the microwave. Those are both steamable bags, so I'm gonna steam them both in the microwave. All right, that turkey is nice and brown, so now I'm gonna add in my can of diced tomatoes and my cans of beef broth. You can also use chicken broth if you want. And then finally, my can of tomato soup. And I'm gonna give that a good stir. 
And I'm gonna add in my steamed rice cauliflower. Now I went ahead and rinsed this in cold water after I steamed it. That's what Pam says she does. And that makes sense to do that because it keeps it from continuing to cook. So I rinsed that, add that in there and I'm gonna stir that in real well. Now I'm gonna add in my trivia packets, teaspoon of that granulated garlic and a little fresh ground black pepper. Again, you can use or add salt if you want, but I'm just gonna add a little pepper and then kind of adjust once this is done, if I need salt or not. So I'm gonna stir that in. And then once I get this all stirred in, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat to low, low, medium. And I'm gonna just cover this up and let it continue to cook or simmer for, she says, about a half hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that do its thing. I'll probably stir it occasionally while it's simmering and then I will be back. All right, I've let this simmer for about a half hour. It's looking good, it's smelling really good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find out how many cups are in here or how many servings I've got and then I will come back and show you what a serving size is and what the points are. All right, I've got a serving of that and I ended up measuring this out and I got just over 16 cups total. So I made my serving size two cups, which is what is right here. And for me, that is three points, which is pretty low for two cups. You also get one point for the veggies that are in this. So you get that veggie point, but yeah, three points for me plus a veggie point. It smells really good. I'll have my hubby try it and let us know what he thinks of it. All right, I got my hubby here. I'm gonna try this. Hopefully it's cooled down enough <laughs> to where it doesn't burn you. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, the first thing I get is like a tomato base followed by the peppers and then um, there's probably a combination of the turkey and the cauliflower so it's kind of a I guess I'd describe it as kind of a hearty fall winter soup soup that's you know that's what it's kind of reminding me of um, I can see how that would be very satisfying. So that's three points. I assume, well, yeah, it should be three points for you too, uh, for two cups, which is a pretty good size serving, really. And then again, you get that veggie point oh, yeah. for uh, the veggies that are in there. Yeah, I really like that. You really like that? Yeah. Now, um, especially for that amount of points, goodness. Yeah. I. I and I haven't tried it yet. I'm fasting as usual. It's only 11. I will add in what I think of it though. But um, no added salt to this and you think that's fine? It's fine for me. I don't think it's lacking. I can see why somebody would want a little bit of salt. I uh, added pepper to it. Yeah. I mean, I might make the flavors pop just a little bit more, but... With a little salt? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's been some dishes where I wanted you to put salt in. Mm -hmm. This is not one of them for me. Okay. And for me, I probably will add just a touch of salt because he's more salt sensitive than I am. We've got a gigantic dog over here. Um, but yeah. Okay. So good stuff mm -hmm. you're saying, yeah. especially for the points. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm excited to try it here. I'm gonna try it at my lunch time and see what I think. And like I said, I'll add in either on the screen or I'll add in at the end what I think of it. But thank you again to Pam for sending me this. My hubby definitely likes it and I'm, I'm pretty sure I will too because it smells really good. So, and nice low point soup. Like you said, good for this time of year when it's cold, yeah. I think. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching and we will see you on the next one. 
So real quick, I want to give my thoughts on this. I had this for lunch, as I said in the video, and it was really good. I enjoyed it so much that I ended up having it for dinner too. Uh, my husband actually went back and had seconds of this for lunch because he enjoyed it so much. So definitely a winner for us and something I will be making in the future. I love how low in points this is, but how flavorful it is. And it is perfect for this time of the year with the cold weather. So big thanks to Pam for sending us this recipe. We really love it. And I hope you guys will too if you try it. Thank you as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.